I got to talk about this. <laughs> After two visits to Trader Joe's yesterday and today, I'm noticing a trend. Um, I post I, in, the, in the title I was talking about, you know, grocery Armageddon and stuff, which is just, it's getting crazy. So I want to talk about this now because it's been bugging me since last night. Um, partly because of what I'm off, what my friend Katie and I are offering next week. Yes, this is going to be a plug and a promotion of what we're doing because it's so clear which time is perfect for this. But I want to speak to a couple of points that are really salient for me right now. First of all, well, as you, by the way, um, I've been off Facebook Live for a while, <laughs> so we're back again today. First of all, um, oh God, how do, I, how do I start this? The panic buying is getting crazy. Now, I understand there's... No, actually, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. Here's the thing. This is not Armageddon. There is a concern of health issues with certain people. Let's be clear about that. I'm not going to deny or anything like that. Um, my brother lives in Italy, so I know what it's like about shutdowns. You know, his whole country is shut down. He lives in Italy. Um, in the United States, things are interesting here. And what's really been interesting to watch is the people who are panicking. Now, I suspect there's a reason for that. You know, the media, the government, everybody else going, you know, you know, don't worry, he's fine, but panic anyway. But I watched, I was in Trader Shows this morning at 8.45, you know, they open at 8 o'clock in the morning and half the shelves are empty again. I was talking to the manager last night and this morning and he said they get restocked twice a day. The Trader Shows gets restocked twice a day. But people are still panicking. They're stocking up like they're waiting for the next um, ice age or something. Now I went there to pick up a cookie. I actually went, <laughs> just funny story. Um, I was I made pasta last night and I realized I'd run out of Parmesan cheese. So this morning I thought, I'll just pop in and get some Parmesan cheese. <laughs> that was a silly idea. <laughs> I ended up getting a few other things too, like more, more olive oil, more milk, some things that I know that I would use. And But I'm watching people with coming out with like two shopping carts full of stuff. Now, first of all, let me be clear again, I said this before, the supply chain is still intact. It's not like there's no more food left. There's no more water left. There's no more toilet paper left. People said, you know, the toilet, you know, Costco is out of paper goods. They are after the first hour because they restock every single night. Trader Joe's, the one local to me, they said they get restocked twice a day, twice a day. Yet people are still stockpiling, thinking they may not have food again. And it's crazy making. It's 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 sad to be honest as well. But watching this thing unfold with a certain sense of um, well, I was going to say despair, not quite despair, but I feel like I want to wake people up. Like I want to yell out to people. I mean, I was joking people in the store because I want to make it light because I'm realizing more and more people are in this place where their survival instinct is over in their consciousness, and not survival in a good way, desperation survival. You know, I mean, at least thankfully in the parking lot, people weren't doing crazy. I mean, you could still get in the parking lots, although there was a few, you know, hitting the horn type things. People were impatient. But I'm watching something happen. What I'm watching is people giving up their control, giving up their self-guidance, and giving up their own mastery of themselves. Now, if you're watching my posts the last week or so, I've been promoting, talking, sharing about um, the new offering that my, my friend Cody Kay and I are launching next Tuesday called um, Inspired Heart Mastery. And part of that is self-mastery, basically meaning how do we have autonomy over our feelings? How do we have autonomy over our own guidance? How do we take back dominion of ourselves away from the media and the hype and everything else that's going on? And today I saw exactly how it's not working. Exactly how it's not working. And frankly, it's a little bit disheartening. Now, I understand this is not a conscious community. <laughs> I live in LA, I thought it'd be nice. And of course the rain is stopping, so people are going shopping now. But at least thankfully, like when it was the gas station, it wasn't like lines around the block. It wasn't like the gas crisis of the 1970s. But I'm watching people do things that for me seem a little bit, well, as I say, still civilized, but not conscious. And so if you're gonna go, if you're thinking about this and maybe share it with your friends, there's a definite sense of, um, I wanna say this. <laughs> insanity that's going on it's crazy and it's it's mind-blowing in some ways and i'm watching this thing happen and i'm pretty clear i'm very clear this coronavirus thing that's going through is going to go through it's not staying it's going to go through 
And if you're somebody who takes care of themselves, and you're not dealing with any underlying health conditions, and you are focusing on your health versus the panic of being sick, you're going to do fine as well. But I'm watching people who, and I was at the store, <clears throat> now, maybe they're going shopping for their elderly parents or something, but I saw a lot of people at the store who were very healthy, upright, but I watched the panic on people's faces. And I wish I could help them and fix that and tell them it's okay, it's going to be okay. Because truth is, it's going to be okay. As I said earlier, the supply chain is still working. Grocery stores get restocked every single day. And Trader Joe's near me does it twice a day. But the clearing of the shelves and the bulk buying and the panic buying, I was tempted. I was tempted to join in, but I went, no, hang on a second. Yes, the lines are longer right now. Yes, there are people doing silly things in the stores, but I can still get what I need and leave. And there were some people in the stores like buying, you know, like a six pack of beer. That was all they were buying, <laughs> which is fine. I understand that. But I recognize there's a part of us that are, um, there's a part I'm watching. And this is, what's, this is what's going on for me. I'm feeling disheartened because I'm watching people, my fellow people, my fellow community, people in, in life acting less spiritually. Spiritually? I don't know if that's the right word. But let's, let, they're not presence in who they are. At least in the store, I mean, let me not give it this way. Some of the people in the store I did notice were, you know, gracious, joyful, playful, happy, as I was, which is resonant, which was good. But some people are so serious and so closed off and so suppressed because they're buying into the bullshit. Yes, I'm calling it bullshit. The media overlaying, 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 overlaying all the news, that 90% of it is not necessary. Yes, there is a new virus going through the country that's going around the world, and some people are suffering more than others. But so a lot of people are surviving it. A lot of people are surviving it. If you take care of yourself, and especially if you're not, if you're under 60, and I'm just a little bit over 60, just to be clear, <laughs> but I'm not worrying about it. But the thing is, you've got to take care of yourself. Exactly. Hi, Donna. Yes, exactly. What are smart people falling for the BS? So I wish I could give my upcoming masterclass with my friend I'm teaching next week, the next eight weeks, to everybody on the planet so they could get it. It's like you have autonomy. You have freedom to choose. Yes, you may need groceries, but, but you don't need to stock up for six weeks. I'm not sure if you need to stock up for a week, frankly. The stores are not closing. The stores are not shutting down the supply chains. There is still plenty of food and groceries out there. And stockpiling water bottles. It's like, it's not coming... It, I understand if it would be concerned if, like, you know, the next world war was starting. It's not, you know... Sorry, what do you say, Dawn? Let's have a... Hey, Dawn. She did a live yesterday because uh, you go grocery shopping every Thursday for 20 years. I was staggered by the other mayhem. I want you to search gone. Pasta almost gone. Yeah, I know. Nuts. Trader Joe's was a different vibe. Trader Joe's was a different vibe, as I shared, because more conscious people shop there versus regular stores. I feel I had good conversation with people at TJ's and then at the grocery store. There are calm, conscious people out there. Yeah. You do not need video of toilet paper. I know. That was, the, that was the big joke about it. It's like, you know, it's the first thing you went was toilet paper. Okay, it's, it's non-perishable, but still. Because this, this virus that's going through is not shutting down the planet. Yes, it's going to start having some issues for people who maybe work in the sporting industry or in certain big entertainment media like South by Southwest and Coachella and other stuff like that. But life still goes on, as does the supply chain. So if you're tempted to panic, don't. It's okay. It's going to be okay. And maybe spread the word. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I, my, my friend Katie, uh, you can message me. I'm not going to put the link in the comments, but if you want to message me. My friend not Katie and I are launching our, our Inspired Heart Mastery site next Tuesday, the 17th, St. Patrick's Day, where there's not going to be a parade, apparently, because of this. Um, but we will wear green. <laughs> it's a two-month deep dive into understanding heart autonomy and guidance in the world, and self-mastery is part of that, which is why I keep talking about it. That's my new focus, by the way. I'm realizing more and more my focus is less and less about romantic relationship and about self-relationship. About finding mastery in yourself, how to govern yourself, how to live in your heart, how to live in a powerful way. So this is kind of my new direction, so to speak. And I think it's perfect timing. So that's kind of what I wanted to just vent. I was, well, was going to vent, but it's basically more less venting today. In the parking lot, I was going to vent. But I thought, you know what, I'll wait to get home, calm down a bit, <laughs> and speak for what I saw. So... Just be aware that if you go shopping, I would wait till Monday or Tuesday after the weekend when people go back, well, when some people go back to work and they're not isolating themselves. Um, 
don't join the insanity because it is as donna said it is bs my my heart goes out to the people who are feeling challenged and my um whoops lost the comments um but I also want to wake people up to the fact if you are feeling like you want to get more support, if you know somebody who's feeling a bit stuck and wants to get more support, have them message me because I'll tell them about, I'll, I'll send them the link to the our new, our new offering next week because it's going to be two months that's going to change your life. And it may be about two months till the, the virus goes away. Who knows? <laughs> that may be interesting timing. I'm not saying there's anything connected, but you know, what can I say? So please be careful out there to quote from Hill Street Blues from many years ago. Take care of yourselves because. We are, we are our best resource ourselves. And you may not get the right pastor at the, at the Trader Joe's. I know I went through the same thing yesterday. Um, but you still go and do what you need to do. So you're hoping that the supply chain doesn't in fact panic like the rest of the world. I think that's why people are hoarding. They're afraid it'll all close down like schools, sporting events and TV shows that have no audience. But yes, now's the time to go. Remember to tune your heart and stay at peace. Exactly, Dawn. This is the thing as well, by the way. A lot of things are changing because and we've made, we've we've made, we as people have an assumption about the way the world works because we've been trained that way. The TV shows have audiences. The sporting events happen all the time. The concerts happen when they happen. Plane travel is working. But I'll ask you this question to think about: if a, if a individual or group who wants to control the people was going to do it slowly. How would they do it? Would they do it by creating war? Would they do it by shutting down certain services? Just an idea. I'm not saying it's true, but to be aware of what it is you're responding to, what it is you're being... Right. We've been trained that the show must go on. Well, I'm going to say it this way. We must go on. The show can stop and start as it does. If you need to isolate, get Netflix. <laughs> you know, do things that are constructive. Learn a new hobby. Learn how to cook. Maybe you do some knitting or something, you know? Oh yeah, I know that. And yeah, Anna, yeah, such a such a such coincidence. Every election, some crazy virus takes over the world. Follow yeah, follow the dollars. I wasn't gonna go down that rabbit hole because there is a rabbit hole and it's true. But I'm speaking about right now, in this moment, to be more conscious, more present, more caring, more compassionate with yourself and those around you. Because from right now, is the time when people are on edge, although just hearing the kids running around the street, our neighborhood frankly is fairly quiet and people seem to be okay. So on on nine months a lot? Sorry, what was that, Donnie? You're saying on nine months a lot. I'm missing I'm not sure of that point. Okay, anyway. So bottom line is this. If you're feeling stuck, you're feeling challenged, you're feeling a bit crazy making, um, don't do it. <laughs> and reach out for help. Message me if you want to get more help. If you want to find out more about the masterclass that my friend Katie and I are launching next week, message me. I'll tell you more about that. Send you the link. Um, we're starting on Tuesday. It's going to go for eight weeks. It's going to be a game changer for your life. I'm passionate about that. Um, and it's a better investment than standing in line at the grocery stores. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go get some breakfast finally. Yes, I have some food in the house. Um, I thank you for watching. Appreciate you being with me. Um, take care of yourselves. If you want to share this with your friends, please feel free to do so. If you have any questions, comments, you want to reach out to me as well. Off of baby. Yes. Oh, yes. Nine months old baby born. Yes. Darn it. Yeah. That's another thing. Yeah, there may be an increase in the birth rate in, uh, what's that going to be? December? <laughs> A lot of December babies may be showing up because of the coronavirus. Yeah, I remember that one from the last time there was a big event like that. So anyway, interesting point to end on. So again, self-mastery. Take care of yourselves. Learn how to be heart-centered, be navigating from your heart. That's what Inspired Heart Mastery that I'm talking about is about. Message me for more information, I'll tell you about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again another time. This is my not my daily talks. I've stopped doing those three weeks ago because I hit my thousandth broadcast. Yes, I've done a thousand Facebook Lives. If you haven't seen those, they're on my YouTube channel. I moved them there for safety. So if you go to youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, there's a playlist called Messages for the Masculine. You can watch a thousand broadcasts. Yes, a thousand. How can you be busy when you're isolating? If you have any questions, message me. If you want to watch this, share this out with your friends. Feel free to do so. This is a more random and more um, point-driven <laughs> topic, I think. I may do another one. We'll see. But I thank you for watching. Appreciate your input. And as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.